Uh, this is pretty really okay. Like they are. Are they really obsessed with beauty? Yes. Obsessed. Really? Obsessed. Wow. Hi, Hi. I'm saying I'm team Hello. Hello. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with excitement. Emily, the founder and CEO of Glossier and IntoTheGloss.com, the probably the only beauty site I check in with every day. Oh, get out. No, I'm kind of snobby, but sorry. Um, <laughs> And yesterday I asked on Twitter if you had any beauty cues, but I did not say who I was interviewing because I didn't want it to all become about, you know, I think, I think your story is fairly well known to everyone who's obsessed with beauty, well it should be, but um, you launched in the UK on Monday, mm -hmm. finally, thank God. I don't know if you remember this, I don't think you will and it might be very embarrassing for me, but I approached you in Claridge's once. Get out! That was me, at the breakfast I've, table, I've... and I went... Um, hi, I'm Caroline, you don't know me, but of when are you course, launching in the UK? Of course, I was with, was I was Alex, Alex. Steiner. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and you were like, I don't know, and we, we're not there yet. And I was like, well, we need you here in the UK. And I had a bit of a meltdown and I was like, enjoy breakfast. And then left. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't tell you that was me before you came. Might have changed your Well, mind. here we are. <laughs> and so Monday you go live, which if we put yes. this up Sunday tomorrow, much excitement. Much excitement, Glossier.com. Is it Glossier.com slash UK or is it just Glossier.com? Glossier.com. It's just Glossier.com. Monday. So world domination awaits. I mean, how hopefully. many other countries are you looking at after this? Well, we wanted to come to London first because actually it's um, the fourth most popular city that people go to in the world to Glossier.com already and we don't even ship here. Yeah. So we really... We know. Yeah. We, we really, <laughs> well, we really wanted to come to London super inspired by English girls. It's like the land of personal style. Such great style. Depends where you are, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then after this, we'll go to France in um, early oh, next year. God. And then we'll see from there. It's going to be so exciting. God. Okay. So I will obviously link below to I sat I found some good videos when I was I was trying to show uh, the team who you know sort of who maybe not as au fait with beauty as I am who you were and what your story was and they were completely engrossed so I will put some links below to those so that if you aren't aware I mean I know you are because you're my lot um, you can have a read but I wanted to hit you up more for the kind of fun questions so that we can because you know one beauty obsessive to another. When you get those questions, you're like, oh, I couldn't pick. You know, I've, had to, I've, I've said to people before, I would rather pick a favorite child than a favorite cleanser. It's, you know, I, 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 I don't have a child, but if I did, I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> and uh, my two sons are helping us film today and they're behind the camera going, I yeah, she probably would do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go straight into Twitter questions. Um, and my first question was, I thought we'll hit with the heavy hitting one because it's been on, it's been a topic that's been around in the UK and on my blog especially is, What's the most either patronizing or irritating thing a middle-aged white man in corporate has ever said to you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny. I was never part of the beauty industry before like starting into the gloss and then Glossier. I was just really obsessed with product. Mm. So I don't have that much experience with like corporate beauty mm. at all. We're, we're kind of doing our own thing down in, down in like lower Manhattan with a lot of like, you know, millennials in our office. But uh, the interactions I've had with business people, they're usually all the investors. Mm -hmm. Those are the guys. That's like the, the world that I've, you know, had to have a lot of meetings in was to pitch this big idea for Glossier um, when we had nothing. We didn't yeah. have the brand. We didn't have the product. Like it was just back in the day being like really want to make a like beauty company that is like modern and whose sweatshirt you want to wear because yeah. it's like you just relate to it you know and um, that really involves its its community and its readers and really just listens to women mm -hmm. kind of simple like make a brand that listens to women yeah um, you wouldn't think it'd be that difficult would you? yeah and uh, and so I um, I used to meet with a lot of investors who were mostly guys who would say oh um, yeah uh, I'm not sure like let me just give it to my assistant or let me like ask my wife about like you know the product or what you're doing and I, I always thought that was so funny because like that's your job like mm. your job is to not know about an industry but to learn about it and mm. then to make a good decision mm. the same way if I was being pitched to by like a financial technology company it's like I don't know anything about financial mm. technology but I'd have to learn yeah interesting isn't yeah. there I read it's no story about the first time you were going for investment there was a room of 11 people and one woman and yeah, well, it wasn't it wasn't a room, but I had I had twelve meetings and I got eleven no's, and the one yes was our lead investor, Kirsten. A woman. A woman. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Okay, so that was me, just smart lady. lady. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello, duh. How how annoyed are they? They're like the people who didn't sign the Beatles. Okay. 
what's been your worst beauty mistake and what was the first beauty product you bought worst beauty mistake um hmm, probably it has to be something that i did myself like mm. something that i took into my own hands like thank god i didn't do laser hair removal myself i like left that to the professionals oh, well, but i'm thinking what did i do myself um piercing my own ears you did not yeah and like it was like a room of like me my friends i i, I yeah yeah and did they hold have you still got them or did you take them out um i took them out I took them out. I don't think that properly. it was a very like uh, accurate uh, placement. Not maybe the bullseye yeah, yeah, not, not so much when you're like you know 12. I don't think you really oh know. Oh God, that's the kind of thing <laughs> my daughter would do. Um, first beauty product you bought? Mm. Mine was a bourgeois blusher, which I first think a lot of girls in the UK. Um, a Stila eyeshadow. Wow, what color? Uh, it was not kitten. Yeah, everyone had it kitten. It was not kitten. <laughs> I actually think it was a very. I actually remember it was a very pale mint green. Nice. Mm -hmm. It was really pretty. I actually still have it. It was back from, I bought it in the year in 2000 or 99. Yeah, because they were out like 96, 97 yeah. in space. 90, and K. Yeah, 98, 99. Yeah. Hmm. The worst beauty advice they've ever heard of anyone following. Worst beauty advice. You know, interestingly enough, I th this was published on IntoTheGloss.com. It's actually our most read article of all time. It's mm. how to give yourself a Brazilian bikini wax. Oh my God, yeah. why would you do, I mean, that's taking one for the team. You can read it and you can find out, but um, our intrepid editor at the time wrote it and it's, it's, it's a huge success. So clearly people are doing this, but I think it's the worst advice. And I, I published this article. I, I couldn't, no, no, sorry, I couldn't do that. Okay, five most important beauty tips, we could go for two or three, that you would pass on to your younger self. Never pluck your eyebrows. That was my number one. My daughter is 15, she has her eyebrows of perfection. Yeah. And I caught her one day shaving down yeah. the middle. And I was just like, what? Yeah, I mean, I over plucked and now one just doesn't grow, you know, they're, they're not, they're yeah. not even. We've all been there. Um, the other thing that I would tell my younger self is don't strip your skin of oil. Like mm -hmm. don't overdo it and over yeah. cleanse. Like your skin is not dirty, yeah, it you know? It doesn't need to squeak, it's not a mouse. No, it's not a mouse. So I would say like, don't strip it of oil and just moisturize. Yeah, moisturize all the time. Yeah. Um, what was your worst beauty habit and why did you stop? Can I tell you my worst beauty habit and I haven't stopped? I still do it and now you can't look. You can't look. <laughs> oh, now okay. I bite my nails. I know, can you oh, believe it? Oh, they're not bad. They're so bad. I'm, I'm so a, I know. <laughs> I'm a beauty editor and I bite my nails. I go in and out. Sometimes, but they're not bitten down. No, they're they're like okay they're right now. They're adequately trimmed. Mm, they're bitten, but <laughs> but I, gels really help. Yeah. If, I, you, if you get a great gel. I can't live without gels because I did so many years of facials where we don't really wear nails. Right. And when I stopped, I was like, oh my God, I can have polish. And I've been gels ever since. I'm a complete snob. Okay. What one thing can people stop doing or change in their makeup routine for instant results? Hmm. Um, lip gloss. Like I have to say, I, I, I think I think matte is great. You know, there's a time and a place, but there's also a time and a place for lip gloss. Like we we made a lip gloss. We decided to do just one like super shiny lip gloss. We're, both, we're actually both wearing it right now, and it's the it's just one perfect shiny lip that you can layer over lipstick or whatever. But you know what it is? Sometimes you just want to look really pretty. Yeah, you just want to look just like wanna, you've made an effort. You just want to look pretty, and you just have some clean skin. Put on a swipe of lip gloss, and like. It's it's kind of has the same effect as mascara. My lot will already know it because it was it's already been in an MT's video. Ah, oh, cool. It's my most the glossier ones. one. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, it's yes. really great. It's, yeah, it's. Great. I am um, I'm not a fan of matte. I think I think the matte thing. I make a joke and say that there's plenty of time to look matte when you're dead. And uh, <laughs> honestly, my grandmother who got my, me and my mother into beauty when we saw this is a happy story. I've said this before in in PAs and stuff, but when we saw her in her coffin, she looked matte. And I said to my mum, well, now it's appropriate that she doesn't have a glow. And then we had a laugh. And, but yeah, but it's a whole <laughs> so other that, story. That's your mat. Yeah, that's I'm your like, I'll be mat with Nana when we're dead, but Got not it. now. I want glow and gloss. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, most challenging part of your job besides sitting opposite crazy English ladies talking about their dead grandmother? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> most challenging part? Um, most challenging part of my job? I don't know. How probably? do you keep yourself together? You must travel all the time. I mean, I, I'm kind of a freak about like meditation. So I meditate every morning for 20 minutes when I wake up. It's so hard to choose like meditation or Instagram because the first uh, thing you do is just reach for their phone mm -hmm. in bed. Um, most challenging part of my job is probably 
um, just like wanting to do everything, like yeah. wanting to like go to like every country in the world, wanting every woman to be able Raining to have yourself in. Yeah, just reining ourselves in. Like I think we have so many opportunities, but we're trying to deliver like the best customer experience exactly. wherever we go, and that takes time and care. I'm so glad that you did it that way though, because I mean, yeah. if you, well, Joe might remember, uh, when Nars wanted to expand really big in the UK, they went through the department store chain mm -hmm. and they, it was like within one week they were in all doors and they had no stock, they couldn't mm. staff it properly and they had to pull it all back, it was a disaster. Mm. I mean they recoup from it because it's Nars, but yeah. you can run before you can walk. Yeah. No, it's I just that we all want you to run now, <laughs> like everywhere. Yeah, but I think that's the beauty of what we do at, at Glossier is, is it's in the hands of the customer, right? So she decides like, you know, whether or not to tell her friends about us and yeah. that's like and the they best all way, do. and they that's all the do. best way to learn about I will a, a know product. from my experience with the videos and every time I mention a product, I will put a special mention in for the girls in Australia oh, because yeah. they are always left behind and if I don't mention them, yeah. they get very annoyed. So I'm just going to put my hand up and say, Australians, I've pitched you to yeah, Emily. No, I'm I, sure she's coming. We have, we have our eye on you, Australia. Okay, one of my questions is your all-time most repurchased product, not Glossier. Oh, yeah. Um, there's two of them. One is the mm. Christophe Robin, um Sea Salt Shampoo. It's in Sephora, yeah, um, and it's it's this super luxe weird product because it's in a jar. It's in a like, jar, who, and you have to scoop yeah, it. Yeah, who'd have thought like a shampoo in a jar? And it also feels it has the consistency of an exfoliator. Right. So it's it's the most bizarre thing, but it actually is amazing. It's like the best shampoo. The other thing that I love purchasing, um, I alternate cleansers between Glossier's Milky Jelly Cleanser, mm -hmm. which is like super gentle, really good for removing makeup, eye makeup, mascara. Also yeah. in an empties. Yeah, it's a huge like top 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 seller for us. It's it's great. Um, um, but the other cleanser that I use is the Tracy Martin, who's a oh, facialist yeah. in New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amla Purifying Amla Cleanser. Also been in an empty. Yeah, and so that's like this, um, uh, it's got some like fruit enzymes, it's more yeah. of like an exfoliating cleanser. Yeah, it's very so high I, end. Yeah, So I, but I go back and forth, it's one exfoliates nice and one um And it's not too foamy, makeup. the um, Amla right. is not too it's foamy. It's still gentle, it doesn't strip. Now you're, okay, you can only pick Okay, I'll do it this way because this is the way I had it pitched to me. If you are dropping your makeup bag mm -hmm. over a cliff, mm -hmm. your hands can only grab three products. Three Glossier, three non-Glossier. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I like the panic on your face. Yeah. It's like, I was like, oh, I was like, can I go no. with it? <laughs> um, okay, probably Balm.com, mm -hmm. Glossier's Balm.com. It's like Desert Island Companion, the most thick emollient lip balm ever. Really good for under lipstick too. Uh, Probably a mascara, and right now I, I kind of go in between, but I always love that Kevin Aquan tubing one. Because mm -hmm. you can pull it off. Right? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't smudge or anything. Um, and a makeup bag. Uh, mm, uh, boy one. brow, boy brow. Boy brow? Yeah, like a, a, a brow, just a little quick brow. And I'll link everything below, obviously. Um, and then non glossier makeup bag. What do I have in there right now? I have a. Um, Sometimes if I want a little more definition on my eye, I do a little liquid liner, and I like the Tom Ford liquid liner, but I also like the Marc Jacobs one is really mm -hmm. good. It's a black, looks like a pen. That's a really good liquid eye. Um, what other makeup? Uh, oh, I forgot to say, it's another glossy one, but it, the stretch concealer. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing all, of, I'm, I'm not wearing any foundation, I just do the stretch, stretch concealer. Stretch concealer is awesome. And you can kind of pull it, it's, it moves with your face, it's really, really great. Um, I'm just thinking of what I put on this morning, <laughs> and I mean it's kind of all us now because yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's, it's the it's the that you can use I'm wearing everywhere. it all. This is like my like five minute makeup, so it's like the the little winged eyeliner I've got, the the boy brow, um, and then concealer and um, um, cloud paint mm -hmm. in <gasps> in duff in. Uh, let me see. I mix beam and dusk, yeah. and that's just like a great foolproof blush. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, and I have two more questions. Yeah. What would leave you devastated if it was discontinued? So obviously uh, it won't be yours because you have right. the power to not discontinue. Well, I mean, hope, for, you know, prayer hands. <laughs> uh, what would leave me devastated? Probably that shampoo. Yeah, that, Christophe I Robin. love that shampoo. Don't discontinue it, Christophe. Yeah, I mean, I think it's doing super well, so yeah, I don't think it won't I don't, be yeah, it's not going anywhere. Um, and the, and probably the same thing. The, the I'm kind of a creature of habit. Just the the cleanser, the Tracy Martin cleanser, and that shampoo. Is there anything on the market that you like or you think, oh, I love this? But every time you pick it up, you think, if it was up to me, I would change this. Part oh, of it. I mean, that's like 
that's where how you spend all your so, time. So yeah, it's how I spend all my time. I mean, I was a beauty editor for you know seven years. Yeah. So that was that's like the genesis of Glossier in many yeah. ways. A lot of the product, right, mm -hmm. is thinking like, oh man, like eyebrow gel is great, but like it's great because it sort of grooms your brow, but then it's all crunchy and it flakes or yeah, it's it like spaces. Color. It doesn't have any color, so it's like, you know, kind of how can you combine two things to make like um, a, a baby? Um, probably like natural deodorants that work. Oh like, like it's like I always <laughs> want to try a natural deodorant. To, I, I use them all the time, and mm. it's a really like like dangerous like you know test because yeah. you end up you could smelling. Be. You, smell, you don't, you know. by the way, but you could. Be. Oh no, I do. Yeah, I like will put it on. I'll try a natural one. I'll be like, please God, please let this one work. And then like at two p.m., I'm like, oh. yeah. sorry. I'm oh, it's fine. It's my channel. Um, I did have one, a natural one that worked really well, and and then suddenly I realized I stank. And yeah. I think somehow, you know, you, because it's natural, your body gets some kind of resistance mm -hmm. or something. I was like, no, I'm going back to the Mitchum. It's Sorry. a power struggle, you know, <laughs> between your armpit and the deodorant. Your body's like, let me in! Yeah. Okay, what is coming up that we need to know about that perhaps, or that you can tell us, number one. Okay, when is this coming out soon? Today? Tomorrow? Sunday. 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 Okay. Because um, you've got new later, body, so let's introduce yes. these. So Body Hero was our most recent launch. So you know this, we launch a new product about every two months. Right. So our philosophy is we don't want to make a ton of stuff and hundreds of SKUs and put it out and throw it at a wall and see what sticks. We actually go to a different partner every single product. We start from scratch, we start with a mood board, we find the best partner in the world, the that vendor, whoever's the best so good agree, have whoever's the power the best. to do that. Oh yeah. It's we're we're editors, so it's like everything we do. I mean, we drive people nuts, but it's yeah. like we're so specific. So every two months we launch a new product, we make one at a time, we put all of our energy behind it. Body Hero just launched. Um, Kim Kardashian actually just Instagram this. We did not pay her. You wouldn't be able she, to afford to pay no, Kim no, Kardashian I to blog it. I mean, she, you know. she um she it's it's a shower, it's an oil wash. So it's a it's like the best shower gel of all time. Mm -hmm. It's it's a hundred percent um water free, so it's like super concentrated and it smells like heaven. It's orange neroli. Did you smell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just Fresh, it's so not fresh. overpowering. No, it's you, actually you smells smell like, like you a would sexy use on a baby French too. baby. Yeah, that oh, was the literally inspiration. a baby. Yeah, it does. It smells like French yes. baby products. Yes, yeah, sexy French baby. See? And then this is the um, corresponding Body Hero Skin Perfecting Cream that has like just the subtlest sheen, like a tiny bit of particles. Yeah, not glitter. Not glitter. No chunks. <laughs> but it's great. It dries down super fast. You can put it. I put it on before I put on these jeans and just yeah. like pull my jeans down. No problem. And then later this month, October 23rd, we have some things, some exciting news. You can tell me afterwards. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Coming. And thanks for finally. Is there any chance of having a pop-up at any point? Yes, there is a huge chance. Oh, thank God. Because if you have not experienced the pop-up in New York, this is how sad we are. We went on, I've been on two press trips to New York earlier this year. Pop-up had opened and we were staying at 11 Howard. Oh yeah. And I was like, yeah. okay, we're go they were, everyone was like, oh, should we go for I'm like, I'm going around the corner. Yeah, across the street. Yeah, I'm like, bye. So I went, came back with, I mean, I'm not kidding, <gasps> like bags. And then everyone, and I was with beauty editors who went, you actually shop? Right, you I was like, just I'm a blogger, sad. dude. We shop. That's so funny. I'm then, happy you got in. Did you have to wait in line outside? No, because it was like early, it was okay. early morning. Okay. And then when right. we went back at lunchtime, yeah. there was a line. Yeah, and I just walked in and we, and then, then of course I get my retail head on and I just walked in and I was going, they have got this down like down although I did Instagram that I was hugely offended that everyone who worked there could be one of my children I was like and I would walk around and go gorgeous face like I love that the, the, the people who work there well it's not like Abercrombie and Fitch where they're models no. they all just have great no, faces they actually none of them have retail backgrounds yeah they're all just like like women who are in our community who yeah. like we find on Instagram who just like the product yeah and who just want to come and, and talk across to their every team. demographic too yeah. there was a beautiful red-headed girl yeah. big curly red hair yeah. and and so and you can just see people were just you're just like I walked in thinking I don't need that because I've got that and I already bought that because I had got a girlfriend of mine to post I ordered Grossier online and got it sent to New Jersey yep. last year whenever picked it up from her house and then when the pop-up opened I was like of course I'm going to New York right. but I took all the editors came back That's with me so, cool. so at one point I was going to tweet a picture because you literally had that Joe will be like oh god you had stylist hello magazine Vogue, oh all three God. of us in the line, like wow. this. We could have a big selfie, like yes. amazing. So we need a Thanks pop for up. Coming. Not that I'm being too demanding with the what product have you got no, and when course, are we launching? Of course. And, and Australia, if you can fit those guys in. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. Good thank luck with so the launch much. tomorrow. I thank hope you, you get some sleep. 
Thank you. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks I'm, for letting me sub now my, my coffee. Go for it. I'm, I'm sure Pret will be very pleased. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and pick a brain about what's coming, and I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Drink your coffee. It's all chill. Great. Right. It would be a great endorsement for Pret. Yeah, exactly. And la yada yada yada, bada bing bada bong, have a playback, see? I would literally kill myself if I if Emily came to the office and it didn't work. I'd be like, Joe, yeah. It's okay, we can just do an RI call. No, I mean afterwards, if we thought it was working oh, and it course, didn't work, I'd die. Not to be too dramatic about the situation. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. That's the response. Notice he didn't say, yeah, I'm really happy, Mum. Are you happy with the recording situation, Benjamin? That's it's much fine, more. Yeah. Right, okay. It's fine. Okay. Yes, it's it's fine. <laughs> and we launch, when are you launching? Monday. 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 Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Rolling, yeah. Oh, you absolute arsehole. Go on. And action.